Throughout my time as a Genshin player, I've gradually been less interested in things relating to co-op or simply communicating with the community in general. This is especially the case when it comes to characters and builds. Today I'm going to be talking about the elitism that I personally see in Genshin players as the years have progressed. The first thing that I want to talk about is builds, and specifically when it comes to giving advice that they most definitely may not be knowledgeable of or really be knowing what they're talking about in the first place and they just say stuff to say stuff. Now, I often see this in a lot of forums or especially in like Twitch chats when people have questions. They ask in chat like, hey, you know, what's the best build for this, yada yada. And this also comes from the content creator side too, especially with content creators who are not build content creators who still for some godforbidden reason decide that they should be the godsend to give advice on things that they're not knowledgeable of, but I digress. This is more so directed at chat people and other people within the community who are not content creators, who are just ordinary people doing their own thing, but instead they also decide, you know, hey, I'll just go ahead and give advice. Now, it's not a bad thing to give advice, but it is a problem when you're giving advice and then <laughs> and then other people look at that advice and then they give you the question mark like um actually you probably shouldn't be recommending this because technically you're going to create a situation that's just awkward for everyone and on top of that for some reason i don't i don't know why people think that like giving advice or like saying stuff related to theory crafting and building when they don't understand it or they don't you know aren't that knowledgeable about it it's just like, I don't understand it. And this is the thing that happens in real life too, where people pretend to like know about something and then just go along with the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you've probably met people who like, you've talked about something with them and either like you or the person, they like pretend like they know what's happening. But like deep down, you're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying right now, but we're just going to keep going. That's how these types of conversations in terms of builds feels like. It feels like that per type of person that like pretends they know what's going on. But in reality, it's like you have no idea what you're saying whatsoever. You're just saying stuff to just add into the conversation and just like add something and you don't really mean what you say. So I would just look out when you're getting advice, especially from Twitch chats, because you don't know the other person behind the screen. You don't know if they're trustworthy at all. And while yes, you can trust the most general people, I would still say in general, you should probably just look it up yourself and just look on stuff like KQM or just look at, you know, an associated guide YouTuber who genuinely does good guides. Honestly, in general with build stuff, most of the time I would personally say, just do what you feel comfy with and you can just look it up and then if you find a build and then you can just slap some shit together and call it a night and honestly it usually just works and by the way this isn't a pvp game this isn't competitive so you honestly don't need to worry that much about how strong your build is unless you're like doing abyss or something you don't need to worry that much about you know how strong your build is as long as your character does a good chunk of damage and the build is somewhat reasonable you are literally fine now the next thing that i want to go over is people expecting others to know everything now this is vice versa while i was talking about with how people pretend to know stuff and regurgitate information but now this is the other side of the coin where people actually do expect everyone to know everything and call other people stupid or some other mean thing when they actually you know they ask a genuine question or you know they want to give their input on something or they're curious about something and I noticed that a lot of players have this tendency to like almost feel like they're superior to people when it comes to stuff like this, or they just like need to tell the other person like, oh, you're so, you know, you're so stupid. Like, how do you not know this? Like, this is, ba like, this is basic building and like yada yada. I don't think you guys understand that not everyone is the same. Me, for example, yes, I do lore content creation, but I also happen to do theory crafting on the side, and it helps with the fact that I quite literally have two years of statistics background in college, and I'm literally about to graduate in less than a year in economics. So it's safe to say that when it comes to stuff like building and numbers and calculations, that kind of stuff just comes to nature with me, and so it's not really as hard for someone like me to understand certain calculation concepts, especially regarding theory crafting. However, not everyone is like me. Not everyone has a, you know, a strong background in college level education mathematics. Not everybody knows how to, you know, interpret an Excel spreadsheet. Not everybody has the time in their day to be looking up everything related to Genshin combat, Genshin builds or Genshin advice channels, etc. 
not everyone is going to be like you and you need to understand that. So when people have genuine questions and are asking things, your first immediate response shouldn't be to try to put yourself on a higher pedestal than those people. Those people are curious and they are just either looking for answers or to get some guidance because they genuinely want to take their first steps into understanding building, you know, artifact advice, weapons, different types of builds, different teams, all these sorts of things. And of course they go to content creators, but sometimes people don't feel comfortable directly icing content creators because, you know, they're, well, content creators. And so a good chunk of people feel more comfortable just asking either chat or asking in forums where, you know, everyone's kind of more similar or like them in a way and it makes them feel more comfortable asking those questions but then when you create a space where a good chunk of you are simply just regurgitating bs and also simultaneously trying to put yourself on a higher pedestal and expecting people to know everything and then you clown them for asking questions then that creates a problem because then you make people afraid of wanting to ask questions and then when say account reviews happen or like for example somebody asks advice or you just happen to scroll through people's things in like your Genshin co-op, you know, co-op random person list or whatever, like how you can view people's profiles online and you can just like randomly look at their profile and then if they have the character builds online to look and see, you can look at it and you look at these crazy builds and you're like, oh my goodness, what is happening here? But I feel like a decent byproduct of this and a good chunk of the reason why stuff like that happens is because of people who are elitist like that, who act like they know everything but even if they do know everything on top of that, they call people out and make people feel bad for not knowing everything. So please keep in mind, not everyone is as smart as you. Not everyone is as aware of builds and guides as you. And you really need to settle the fuck down, please. And now lastly, I touched on this in the last point, but I will want to go more specific into this, into why these two previous points that I mentioned creates this disconnect or fear of interaction. And this sort of takes place in both forums and in co-op, because now you have people being very wary of the kind of questions that they ask on forums, especially regarding builds and things like that. And people just in general don't really want to confront others now for stuff like builds now they're more reliant on just simply just looking at you know guide videos whether or not they're wholly accurate and just searching random you know whatever the first thing on like google search pops up for like ningguang build or ayato build or something like that right and they'd rather just go with that than like say if they just happen to be in twitch chat and like they have the time and they're like oh you know let me just ask this question they, they would rather not do that um and it, and it creates this level of like fear of interacting with others and i started to notice this in co-op too because i started noticing that like over time and i've played Genshin for about like a year now and i've kind of slowly realized that like people don't well a lot of people do co-op but when it comes to like one-on-one -on -one co-op or like people coming into other people's worlds um and i'll be very honest i myself have started to do this or like i honestly just like insta block or like i do not let people into my world and that is for a multitude of reasons but in my personal case it just happened to be that there was a person that i lent to my world and they were not the nicest of people um it's not to say that's representative of the community as a whole but i'm going to point out that stuff like this does leak into people's emotions and how they feel about others in this game as well as how they interact with others in this game because of the responses that they get in things like forums and especially with you know stuff related to builds and guides so again please be very careful of what you say to people and be aware that again not everyone is like you and not everyone's going to be as knowledgeable of stuff as you and the last thing you want to do is deter people away from something that you like to play because otherwise don't act surprised when you try to join people's co-op worlds and suddenly every single person fucking denies your request um because it, that low-key happens now but like there is that one person that lets you in every now and then but you know for the most part people are like they're kind of wary of other players now because of what i just said so yeah all right and that's all i've got to say in general um again i just want to reiterate this point i've said it like a bajillion times now but i really do want to reiterate that not everyone is knowledgeable of everything and not everyone is as smart as you not everyone is as aware of you 
So please, when you are talking to other people, please be mindful of this and try to be patient with people because not everyone is on the same page as you. Okay? Okay. All right. I'll continue lore related videos um, either next week or the week after as I do have Thanksgiving break this week, um, but I will probably still be busy somewhat. In terms of the next lore video, I've had a couple theories in mind, but the problem is I really need to find a way to solidify a few of them because there are quite a few gaps and also I don't, you know, I've started to realize that I actually don't really have like a core, you know, like theory in mind. It's more so just like I've piled up the evidence, but like I still need to come up with, you know, the concluding statement type thing. So I'm still trying to figure that out with future content. So be on the lookout for that, but it will be a lore content type video um in the next one so until then bye bye